Hey everyone, Tio here. Today I'm reviewing the UG S1060W, which is a pen tablet for creating digital art. First of all, a disclaimer, this is a review unit provided by the company. I have actually reviewed a variation of this tablet before, which is the wired or cable version. The reason why UG sent me this again is because they recently rebranded with a new logo and they released new color options for this tablet. So now there are three color options to choose from and two sizes to choose. This is the 10 by 6 inch, which is the size that I recommend because the 6 by 4 inch is kind of small. The price of the tablet will depend on the size and whether it's wireless or not. So this particular one that I have here is 69 US dollars at the time of review. Let me give you the bottom line up front. The drawing performance is fantastic because the pen is accurate and sensitive. The lines always come out exactly the way I expect them to. So the drawing performance is very consistent and very predictable. There are no surprises. The downside would be with Adobe Photoshop, you have to do additional troubleshooting to get pressure to work and that's the only uh, app that has issue with pressure sensitivity. There are some issues with Android support which I will show you later and the battery life for the wireless model is just 10 hours. Let's take a look at the items included in the box which I have already unpacked. So other than the tablet, there's the quick start guide, USB-A to USB-C charging cable, the nib remover, 10 replacement nibs, the pen, this USB type A wireless receiver. If you are using USB-C, there is a USB-A to USB-C adapter included as well as a USB-A to micro USB adapter. Design of this tablet is clean and simple. The corners are rounded off, the edges are beveled. The whole thing is made of plastic and the build quality is quite solid. There is very little flex and you don't hear any squeaking sounds. That's the logo. So the drawing surface area is 10 by 6 inches and this is a good size that pairs very well with laptops and monitors up to 27 inches. The drawing surface is matte textured and this surface has more texture compared to other brands of pen tablets that I have tested, which also means it's going to wear down the pen nib much faster, but 10 replacement nibs are included, so I don't really worry about the pen nibs wearing off. There are two long pieces of rubber fit behind with very good grip on the table and this is also matte textured which is nice. The edges are curved slightly so it's easy to pick up the tablet. There are 12 hotkeys and these are customizable. The buttons have very firm feedback. At the top here you can see this sleeve. This is for the pen. This is to hold the pen. To power on, you have to press and hold the power button for a few seconds and the blue light will appear looking for a connection. That's the USB-C charging port. This tablet can still be used while it's charging and this here is for looping a string or lanyard through. The drawing surface is textured and it has more texture compared to other brands of pen tablets I have tested, which means it's probably going to wear down the pen nib much faster. But replacement pen nibs are inexpensive and 10 are provided. This pen is lightweight and feels slightly plasticky, but the build quality is solid enough. The pen is not powered by battery, so no charging is required. There are two side buttons which are customizable. The body is matte textured and it provides a decent amount of grip and this pen is comfortable to hold and to draw with for long periods of time. The pen supports tilt and slightly over 8000 levels of pressure sensitivity. The pen nib has slight in and out movement. I know there are artists who prefer a firm nib with no movement at all. Personally, I'm fine with this. Let's see what the driver can do. So this is the Windows driver version 4.0.1. The macOS driver should have similar functionality except the macOS driver does not have Windows Ink, 
which you may have to toggle on or off for troubleshooting if pressure is not working as expected. So this is where we can customize the two side buttons and it is possible to have switch monitor if you are using this tablet with two displays. So I usually work with two displays and switch monitor works well. This is where you can customize the pen pressure by moving the three control points on the curve. To customize the hotkeys, uh, it's here. Just tap on the hotkey and you can input your own keyboard shortcuts. And the hotkeys, they work fine. You can also use a combination of keys or choose from the pre-programmed uh, functions, which are here. This is the work area, which you can leave as default unless the aspect ratio of your monitor is very different from the 10 by 6 aspect ratio. And lastly, there is this um, feature which allows you to create shortcut groups for specific apps you use. For example, if you switch to Photoshop, the shortcuts you have created for Photoshop will load automatically. And if you switch to Illustrator, those shortcuts for AI will load automatically. Since all the hotkeys for this tablet are at the top, it doesn't really matter whether you are left-handed or right-handed. If pressure sensitivity for the Windows version of Photoshop does not work, you can try to disable or enable Windows Ink to troubleshoot. And if that doesn't work, you can try this solution, which I will link in the video description below. And this solution or fix worked for me. Let's do some line tests. This is Medibank Paint Pro. Initial activation force of the pen is very low, which means the pen is very sensitive. So it's easy to draw thin lines, even when you have a thick brush selected. And when you draw diagonal lines slowly, there is no obvious Cheater or wobble. This is how the lines taper. They taper very nicely, very smoothly, and with a gradual taper and sharp point. You can create dots easily by tapping on the tablet, and this will react with pressure. This is the line transition from thin to thick and back to thin. And these are also diagonal lines and I don't see any diagonal line wobble or jitter and I don't see any variance with the thickness, which is nice. So the transition is very smooth. Let's see if I can create consistent line width by maintaining consistent pressure. And I can do so easily. And these diagonal lines again don't have wobble and jitter. You can create cross hatching lines easily. And this is Photoshop just to show you the tilt brush. So now the cursor is horizontal and now it's vertical and it's horizontal. The cursor can follow the direction of the pen. So let me draw broad vertical strokes, thin vertical strokes, broad horizontal strokes and thin horizontal strokes. Drawing performance is fantastic because the pen is accurate and sensitive. So I can get the line to taper very nicely, just the way I expect them to. Since the drawing performance is consistent and predictable, my overall drawing experience with this tablet is very positive. I have tested the tablet with Adobe Photoshop, Affinity Photo, which is the app that I'm using now, Medibank Paint Pro, Clip Studio, Critar, and they all work well. So I definitely do not have any issues when it comes to drawing or digital painting with this tablet. There are no surprises. The pen works really well. There is the usual amount of latency, but 
from what I can see, the lines they come out almost instantly. So I don't have any issues with latency. So this is just a quick sketch that I drew. The pen is definitely accurate and sensitive enough for professional comic illustration and digital painting. Android support with the UG tablet is a hit and miss. Let me show you why. So here on the left is a Samsung tablet with USB-C port. So I need to use the USB-C to USB-A adapter with the USB-A wireless receiver in order to connect wirelessly to the UG Pen tablet. The first deal breaker is I am not able to see the cursor on the Samsung tablet. The pen works but I cannot see the cursor. And because I cannot see the cursor, I don't know where I'm drawing. I've just switched the connection to this Huawei MatePad tablet and I can see the cursor. It's a circular cursor. Whether you can change the shape of the cursor will depend on the OS and the app you use. So with this app concepts and with this Harmony OS, I am not able to change the shape of the cursor. Since I can see where the cursor is, I know where to start the line and I can draw and join the lines like this. If I cannot see the cursor, I don't know where to start the line and I can't draw. And because there is no way for you to know in advance whether the cursor will appear on your Android tablet, I cannot recommend buying this UG tablet for use with Android devices. Generally speaking, when you use a pen tablet with an Android tablet, both tablets have to be used in portrait orientation. So I'm going to draw a rectangular box in this clockwise manner and notice how the line appears on the Android tablet. It's also in this clockwise manner. If I turn this tablet into landscape orientation, let me just undo here, and there is no finger gesture here, so you have to use finger gestures on the Android tablet. Now when I draw from left to right, the line appears from top to down. So obviously the orientation is wrong and the direction of where the line should appear is wrong. UG actually provided a software to match the orientation of the Android tablet with the pen tablet, but it doesn't work with this Huawei tablet for some reason. So I'm back to using the Samsung tablet without the visible cursor on the display. Same thing, I'm going to draw a rectangular box in this clockwise manner. And this works fine. When I rotate this to landscape orientation, this still works because the driver works with this tablet for some reason but i can't see the cursor the android driver that i tested was from 13 of june 2022 so it doesn't seem like this driver is going to be updated that regularly and the thing with the missing cursor is highly dependent on the os it's not dependent on the driver so even if the driver for matching the orientation is working perfectly, there is still no way for you to guarantee that the cursor will be visible on your Android tablet when both are connected. All right, I hope this review is useful. If you guys are interested to get this tablet, you can use the affiliate links that I have for you in the video description below to support my YouTube channel and the work that I do here. See you guys in the next video. Bye.